Welcome to IAS project. In this video, we will talk about OCP culture. OCP culture is also called as ochre colored pottery culture. Before we go into the lecture, please try to answer this question. Consider the following statements regarding Chalcolithic age sites in India. Three statements have been given here and the question is which of the statements given above are correct. The first statement is Iran and Kayatha belong to Malwa Chalcolithic culture. The second statement is Ahar and Gilund belong to Banas Chalcolithic culture. The third statement is Daimabad and Inamgaon belong to Jorve Chalcolithic culture. If you know the answer to this question, please answer it in the comment section. Now let's talk about ochre colored pottery which is also called as OCP ware. So OCP culture started somewhere around 2000 BCE and it lasted up to 1500 BCE. So therefore, we can say that this timeline or this OCP culture is mainly associated with late Harappan phase. We know that late Harappan phase started somewhere around 1900 BCE. Therefore, both these timelines are very very close. However, in some OCP culture sites in Rajasthan, for example in Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture sites, we have found OCP or ochre colored pottery even from mature Harappan phase. That is, from 2600 BCE to 1900 BCE period also, we have found ochre colored pottery in Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture. So from this, we can say that in Rajasthan region, the OCP culture or the ochre colored pottery was made even before late Harappan phase or even before 2000 BCE. So the timeline which I have provided here is only a generalized information and this timeline basically represents most of the OCP culture in India, not all the OCP culture in India. So what exactly is OCP culture? OCP culture is nothing but the culture of the people in sites where we have found ochre colored pottery. So wherever we have found ochre colored pottery in this time period, we associated some more things with these ochre colored pottery and said that all these people belong to ochre colored pottery culture. So what exactly is OCP or ochre colored pottery? In our previous videos, we have discussed that ochre is basically a type of red color. So ochre colored pottery is a type of red color pottery. This pottery was having a red slip. I told you slip is nothing but a wet coating that is made on the pottery and after firing this wet coating becomes a smooth surface that is nothing but slip. So ochre colored pottery had a red slip. Moreover, this pottery was also extremely rolled and fragile. You can see an example of ochre colored pottery in this picture here. So the shade of red that you can see in this pot is called as ochre. Therefore, this pottery is called as ochre colored pottery. So the ochre colored pottery was treated with a thick red slip. Moreover, sometimes it was also ornamented with painted patterns in black color. For example, you can see black color painted patterns here. Sometimes incisions were also made on the surface. These incisions also acted as a decoration. I told you that incisions are nothing but cutting a small groove on the pot like this. So if a groove is made on the pot, such kind of groove is called as incision. Incisions mainly serve as decoration and also for giving grip to the pottery. So this is about the OCP or the ochre colored pottery. So the timeline of ochre colored pottery mainly matched with late Harappan phase. That is nothing but it started after 2000 BCE mostly. But in certain cases like in the OCP sites that were located close to Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture, we have found this pottery even during mature Harappan phase. That is even from 2600 BCE to 1900 BCE. Now let's talk about the location of OCP culture sites. Most of the OCP culture sites are actually located in the upper portion of Ganga Yamuna Doab. Let me explain you the region of Ganga Yamuna Doab on a map. So this is the Ganga river and this is Yamuna river. So whatever is the region that is lying between these rivers is called as Doab region. So this is nothing but Doab region. Since this Doab region is lying between Ganga and Yamuna rivers, we can call this Doab as Ganga Yamuna Doab. So the ochre colored pottery was mainly available in 
upper portion of Ganga Yamuna Doab. Which means that we have found the ochre colored pottery from the area which is hatched over here and nearby regions also. So this is the most important region from where we have found ochre colored pottery. We have also found ochre colored pottery from Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture which is located over here. And we also found from other regions like Bihar Plateau. Let's talk about all these locations now. So most of the OCP sites are located in the upper portion of Ganga Yamuna Doab. However, few OCP sites were also located in the plateaus of Bihar as well as some other regions. For example, like in Rajasthan, that is mainly in Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture region. Moreover, in most of these regions, we have also found copper hoards along with the ochre colored pottery. That is why we have tried to link the copper hoards with OCP culture people. We will talk about what copper hoards we have found shortly. If we talk about the size of these OCP culture sites, then these OCP culture sites were very very small compared to other large Chalcolithic settlements like Inamgaon or Daimabad. We know that both these are actually towns in the Jorve Chalcolithic culture. So these were very very big. Compared to these, OCP culture settlements and OCP culture sites were very very small. Why were these small? These were small because they were mostly located in the plains. So this is very very important because it is a kind of contradicting nature. Chalcolithic settlements are generally not available in plains. However, OCP settlements were mostly established in plains. That is why it is very important observation. So if any settlements are established in plains, then we have a risk of flooding in these settlements. Because in India, we have a monsoon type of climate. And during monsoon, we receive heavy rains. And because of these heavy rains, there is a risk of flooding as well as water logging in the river plains. So because of this flooding and water logging, the settlements get damaged. And you have to start building the settlement once again. That is why these settlements did not get too big. Moreover, they were also unfit for long time settlement. So this is a very important observation as far as OCP culture settlements are concerned. They were located in plains and they were generally small in size compared to other Chalcolithic culture sites. So I told you in the OCP culture settlements we have also found numerous copper hoods. Now let's try to link what is the relationship between copper hoods that were found in these sites and the OCP culture itself. If we talk about the case of India, we have found numerous copper hoods everywhere within the Indian subcontinent. However, most of these copper hoods are actually found from Ganga Yamuna Doab. We know that in Ganga Yamuna Doab, in this timeline, OCP culture was existing. That is why we try to link OCP culture people with the copper hoods that were found in these regions. Moreover, in our previous lectures, we have also studied that Chalcolithic people generally did not prefer to live in fertile river plains of rivers. They prefer to live in slopes of hills as well as river valleys. However, these copper hoards were found in fertile river regions. That is why we believe that these copper hoards were not buried by other Chalcolithic people who were living in hilly slopes or river valleys. Moreover, in the Ganga Yamuna Doab region, we have found these copper hoards along with ochre colored pottery and other mud structures. That is why we try to link all these things with OCP culture people. So OCP culture in Ganga Yamuna Doab is associated with copper hoards. I told you hoard is nothing but a group of copper items which were generally buried together. That is called as a hoard. Sometimes it is also called as cash. Especially if it is buried, the hoard is called as cash. So the other name for OCP culture is copper hoard culture of Ganga Yamuna Doab. Now let's talk about the characteristics of these copper hoards that we have found in OCP culture sites. We know that Chalcolithic people usually prefer to live in hill slopes as well as river valleys. However, these copper hoards of OCP culture were found in river plains that is in the fertile plains of Ganga Yamuna rivers. Moreover, these copper items were very very artistic in nature compared to the copper items that were prepared by other Chalcolithic cultures like Malwa culture, Aharbanas culture or Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture. 
For example, you can see a copper human figurine in this picture here. This was found in copper hoards of OCP culture. So what do these two things mean? Living in river plains and highly artistic copper items. It means that these OCP people led a settled life or a sedentary life. Which in turn means that these people practiced agriculture. Settled or sedentary life simply means that they were not moving much. Or we can say these people were not nomads. Nomad means a person who is wandering always. But OCP people were not nomads. They led a settled and a sedentary life by practicing agriculture. And agriculture was practiced because these people were living in the fertile plains of rivers. So whatever the case was, OCP cultures almost declined by 1500 BCE. When OCP cultures declined by 1500 BCE, we do not have much habitations in Ganga Yamuna Doab. So up to almost 1000 BCE, we do not find much history of Ganga Yamuna Doab. However, we will talk more about this region in PGW culture as well as when we talk about Aryans, that is nothing but the Vedic culture. Since the OCP people were living in plains, there was always a risk of flooding and water logging. That is why at any OCP site, generally these people did not live for more than 100 years. This is another reason why they did not build big towns like Daimabad or Inamgaon like in Jorve Chalcolithic culture. So what is the relation between OCP culture people and Harappan culture people? OCP people were actually the junior contemporaries of Harappans, which means that their timeline matched with late Harappan culture. This is nothing but a match of late Harappan culture because we know late Harappan culture was from 1900 BCE to 1300 BCE. So since both these timelines are more or less matching, we can call OCP culture people as junior contemporaries of Harappans. They were technologically backward compared to Harappans, okay? Because Harappans were Bronze Age people, whereas OCP people were Chalcolithic Age people or Copper Stone Age people. Moreover, we know that some OCP culture sites also existed near Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture. And Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture was very close to Harappan region or the Indus civilization region. That is why we can say that some kind of exchange could have happened between OCP culture people and Harappan people. Now let's talk about some of the examples of OCP sites in India. OCP sites were mainly located in Ganga Yamuna Doab. Other than Ganga Yamuna Doab, they were also located in the region of Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture sites. So we find OCP culture sites in Jodhpura which is basically located on the border of Haryana and Rajasthan. Please note that this Jodhpura is not the Jodhpur city. Okay? In Uttar Pradesh, we also find OCP sites like Alamgirpur and Hastinapura. We know Alamgirpur was the easternmost site of Harappan culture. Alamgirpur was actually an important late Harappan site also. So in Alamgirpur also, we have found ochre colored pottery. If we talk about Hastinapura, Hastinapura is actually a PGW site. PGW means painted grey ware. Painted grey ware is basically associated with Iron Age in India and it is also associated with Mahabharata period. So we will talk about painted grey ware when we talk about Iron Age in India. So since painted grey ware is mainly associated with Iron Age, we can say that OCP culture is older than PGW culture because OCP culture is a copper stone culture or it could even have been a bronze age culture but not iron age culture so ocp sites are mainly found in rajasthan punjab haryana and western uttar pradesh moreover ocp sites are mostly absent in bihar bengal odisha and madhya pradesh in madhya pradesh we have an ocp site called gungeria from gungeria in madhya pradesh we have found copper hoards so this is about ochre colored pottery. This ends our Chalcolithic age lectures. In the next lecture, we will start with Aryan culture. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can download this presentation from our telegram channel. The name of the channel is IAS project. You can find the link for this channel in the description section below. Thank you.